smack life with the trees living like a lemur. You still feel like Wale ain't do nothing for the DMV? I feel like in the last six months, I done more for the DMV than Wale in his whole career, personally. Damn, like, you don't count like when. You don't count him like uh Name Trill. Name Fat Trail somewhere right now smoking cigarettes with his shirt off. Is that's putting him on, I'm sorry. I mean, alright, so but when do it come to the, the actual person that like maybe a fumble day position? Like, you know what I'm saying? If you get somebody opportunity for an alley oop and they miss the dunk, man. It's like you said and Wale up to get curry. So without me curry and Wale, I'm gonna say this respectfully. If Wale put Fat Trail on, Fat Trail been robbing ten years, Fat Trail have nothing. I said KP Skywalker name 15 times in the last three months. KP don't even live no more. He moved to Cali. I seen him post $50,000 with a bust down rolling. Nah, he did get up out of <laughs> Make it make sense to me. What's your relationship like with KP Skywalker? I interviewed him. I didn't know KP from a can. Like, I didn't know him at all. I didn't know nothing about him or nothing. I did an interview with Big YSL. Big YSL said KP up next, something, something, something. I had a conversation with him. Just on, like, this interview with him and a side conversation before the interview. You ever talk to somebody? I don't know what it is. It ain't got it ain't got nothing to do with his buzz. It's rapping on, and you just get a vibe from them. Like you just want to help them. Like they they if they genuinely uh, take your help and they in a position to win, they where you was at in life, and you know you could tell them two three things to to get them exactly where they need to be. And that's what I wanted to be because that's all I was missing. That's the reason my career ain't go as far as it supposed to went on a rap tip because. When I was messing up, nobody was there to tell you what I was messing up or what I was doing wrong. I ain't had no motivation or no mentor. So it's like, I just tell them where you right away wrong. It's like, the, and the music speaks for itself, bro. It's the most of the business I wanted them to know. But as far as the music, bro, we KP'd out right now. Nah, <laughs> There's nothing else going on. You been, you just like dropped a couple songs, but uh, blame on me. I just like, I felt, I felt that you was just like you felt that type of shit. Like, where that come from? What, what made you uh, drop that? I don't know, sometimes when I make songs, see my music, my mu when I make music sometimes, my music just be a message. Sometimes, all right, say if I'm talking to a rapper, I can't talk to, I can't talk to them like, just like talk to them, sometimes I gotta talk to them in their language. I talk to them through a beat, that's it, it's just be me talking. So if I get into it with some guys and they wanna know, they, like, they might be dissing my best friend GQ all this week on Instagram just trolling because it's the popular opinion, so I might just drop a song and let them know this is how I really feel about that. I ain't gotta, re I reply to them in rap form, making people hear it with a beat on it, make it sound better. But my music be most of a message, bro. I don't really, I don't wake up, eat, sleep, breathe music. When you hear Aunt Glizzy, just listen to the words. I ain't never told you I sold no bricks or none of that music, hopped out no free cars or none of that, bro. I'm telling you what's going on in life.